What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Check this out. Today we're going to be having a look at the ESC70 programmable 70 amp brushed ESC. It's made by ISDT. Not much to look at on the box here. We're going to get it out. We're going to have a look at it and we'll do a few right, things. Guys, we got everything out on the bench for us to take a look at now. We'll start with the manual and it just pulls open like that. Now we've got English on one side, Chinese on the other side. A lot of information here guys. How to uh, wire up the ESC, how to set it up calibration process right here it's referring to the isd go app now i don't see a qr code specifically for the app here i believe it's available on ios and android there is a qr code here but i believe it just takes you to their website which might lead you to the app as well so we'll throw that aside i'm gonna probably need that when i'm setting up we got a little goodie bag here looks like we've got a little three wire uh, extension for connecting the esc to the receiver some shrink tube a couple connectors for the motor all in there we've got a switch right here a nice oversized switch and here we go here is the ESC 70 here now I did mention it's brush so there's your motor wires right there your positive and negative motor wires and then there's your power wires your positive and negative there it does not come at least this one did not come with a connector I'll be uh, throwing a, a Dean's connector on it but it uh, is available I believe you can purchase it with a pre soldered connector on it and we do have some info on the back here. We'll see if we can zoom in on it. It is compatible with 2 to 3S LiPos or 6 to 8S nickel metal hydride batteries. And it's got an output of 5 to 7.5 volts. So guys, not much more to look at here. It is all programmable through the app. I'm going to download that app now and we'll have a look at it. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this installed. And I think I'm going to install it into the MN90 here. I'm throwing it brushed 370 motor in it now the specs do uh, refer to the motor sizes that this is compatible with 540 550 and i believe 775 so a big brush motor i'm hoping it's going to work with this uh, little 370 i think it will and that's what we're going to try it in and we'll see if it wor works out for me but uh, right now guys i'm going to get the app downloaded i'm going to search for it we'll have a quick look at the app and then i'm going to get busy installing the esc 70 here and then we'll uh We'll have a look at it. Alright guys, well I have an iOS device here, so I'm going to get into the App Store. I'm going to search the ISD Go app, as referred to in the manual. There it is, we'll get that. Alright, we're going to let that do its thing and All download. Alright guys, we got the ISD Go app downloaded. Let's have a look at it. So, let's see if there's anything we can do with it doesn't look like it hit that plus button yeah so what we're gonna have to do is get the ESC 70 installed and we're gonna be able to initiate Bluetooth pairing with the switch here and there's instructions in the manual how to do that we'll go over that once we get it installed I just wanted to have a quick look to see if there's anything else to look at in the app here once we get that installed though we'll be able to pair the app to the ESC 70 here and then we'll be able to make some adjustments and fine-tune it right, we got the ESC 70 installed here got the Dean's connector all soldered on to the end there there's the ESC 70 got the power switch over to the one side and the receiver over to the other so we're gonna go into Bluetooth pairing mode now so how we do that is we're gonna press that power button but we're gonna keep holding it in and it's gonna start flashing blue once it starts flashing blue we'll get into the app so you can see it's flashing blue now going to start a screen recording and we're going to get into that app and we're going to have a look at uh, how to get this connected so we're going to go to ISD go app we're going to hit the plus button in the top right hand corner we're going to hit refresh there we go ESC 70 click on that add this device now you can see it's connecting we'll wait for it to go through the process here binding success there we go now we're seeing ESC 70 on the home page click on that and there we go it's bound now that error error code is showing because we don't have the transmitter uh, turned on yet so we'll turn that on now and now I'm going to show you how to go through the throttle calibration so now you can see that error code went away you can hit the cog in the top right hand corner remote throttle calibration so it's calibrating neutral right now so we're not having to touch the transmitter at all it's successful hit next we're going to calibrate the forward just by holding down the forward just what it's showing us here in the app success hit next and then we're going to calibrate the reverse once that's done 
calibration successful. All right, now that we got the throttle calibration complete, let's go back into the settings and see what else is offered here. So mode selection. You got on-road, drift, off-road, rock crawler, custom. Right now it's set at off-road. Why don't we set it up as a rock crawler? Just gonna select it there, save successfully. All the pre-input uh, selections for rock crawler have been changed. And let's look at primary. So right now running mode, forward reverse, I like to have a brake in there, so just going to go forward reverse with brake and then select that. Battery type LiPo, we're going to stay with that, but you can also see here high voltage, nickel metal hydride, or cadmium are there. We'll get out of there. You can change your cells, 2 or 3S. Voltage cutoff, BEC voltage, motor rotation. You can reverse the motor if you need to. So we'll hit... The green arrow now and it's going to make those changes because i changed it to uh include break now so it's sending the setup parameters to the esc70 set successful so we can go down now to advanced so here's where you get a little bit more advanced stuff start force brake force active drag brake level active active drag brake or active brake i should say enabled so all those you can disable it there can change the force PWM frequency everything can be changed up guys we'll get out of there I'm not changing anything now under other you can rename it I don't have a name in there right now you can change your throttle curve you can change your brake curve custom startup music changed up right there Or you can restore factory settings if you uh, want to just get it back to factory. Just do that. And system information. Some information on the system there. We're going to get out of there. And going back into settings now, you can see the mode selection is custom. Because I did change the running mode for forward, reverse, with brake. So we're going to get back to the main page of the app here. You're going to see that error code. And that error code is going to stay there until you actually uh, get out of the app and return to the app. So, And you can see we're still blue on the light there, which means we're still connected to the app. We're done with the app now, so we can actually uh, get out of the app. There we go. We're out of there, and the light has turned green, and everything is good. And if we want to go back into the app, you can see it says we're ready. And it's going to connect. It's going to show us everything there, capacity, throttle, temperature, and voltage all set up there so guys that's really all that we need to look at with the app there lots going on there a lot of adjustments you can make a lot of options i'm liking that i think we got to take out the mn90 here and test out the esc70 have some fun with it and just go for a little we got a set in crawler mode right now so we're not going to be going too fast and then that paired with uh the 370 motor i put in there is not exactly a a speedy motor for this one but Nevertheless, we're going to put it out for the test. We got it set up in uh, rock crawler mode. And we're just going to crawl around for a bit here, guys. So far, no issues. So I was quite surprised with all the options, adjustments that are uh, available with this ESC with the included app. That was, uh, it was nice. Not often are you able to, uh, to uh, you know, make any adjustments to a brushed ESC. That's what's nice about this one is it had plenty of options and adjustments. You can see the mud's pretty thick here. I figured this would be a good little test for this ESC.
Well, I'm impressed so far, guys. It's working just great, no glitches, working as it should. What I really liked about that app is the different uh, modes that were available, and that drift mode really has piqued my interest. I might just pop this uh, ESC into one of my drift cars and see how it does. If I do that, I'll definitely share that with you guys. But yeah, so far so good, no complaints. Do a little climb in here. Not bad. Now the tires and wheels I have on there, those are actually 3D printed. I made those, uh, well, you know, earlier this year in the summer. I did make a video on them. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a card above. They actually do pretty good. Not doing bad at all. I'm trying to uh, hopefully not uh, flip it. I don't want to really walk up there. Oh, well, maybe we're going to bring it back down. I think uh, this is a project still in the works with the MN90 here. I uh, definitely got to get a little more weight up front there. But it is better than what it was stock. And look at Wait till I bring it back down. The amount of mud just building up on, on the tires there is nuts. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm surprised we're even still able to move. Look at that. There's some sticky mud here. All right, guys, I'm going to get ready to wrap this one up here. So we're going to start making our way back. Definitely happy with how the ESC70 performed here. It's awesome, guys. Lots of options to uh, choose from, custom programming. It worked flawlessly, no glitches at all. I'm very happy with uh, with everything about it. So, like I said, I think we're gonna probably mount it in a drift car and check that out, and maybe uh, also we'll mount it in something a bit faster as well and see how it does. But for right now, we're gonna leave it at that. You like this video? Make sure you hit a big thumbs up near the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. You want to get some more info or even grab one of these ESC 70s for yourself. Check out the links down below in the description and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.